ballistics here. I got the wife and a uh, little buddy in the back seat. And we're going to go do some fishing in Seward, doing the snagging hook thing. It's a big old treble hook, and you just try to snag fish as they come in. We're going to get there a few hours before low tide, and then as the tide's coming in, and then probably leave. And so hopefully we'll get a few fish. You never know when they're running, so is what it is. Any thoughts? You... One of I'm us just waking up. <laughs> yeah, I uh, put my military history about the Mongols on and on YouTube and uh, Kings and Generals channel, good channel. Um, and she put her right to sleep. I was sitting there listening to it all. And anyway, um, so yeah, it was uh, pretty cool. It's uh, about three hours from our house to Seward. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we'll catch some fish. One of us is gonna babysit while the other one fishes. You know, so we'll take turns, switch out. So hopefully the kiddo doesn't get swept up by an eagle. So, yeah. Anyway, that happens with little dogs. So, that's why you don't buy little squirrel dogs. I mean, let's just be honest. So. How much can an eagle carry? I need service to look this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, I think they've carried off like five and ten pound dogs. I don't think they can carry off 20 pounds. He's 20 pounds. Yeah, so, anyway. I'll just uh, tie some rocks to him. <laughs> yeah. He's not very aer aerodynamic, though, so. Anyway. Um. Put a little anchor. <laughs> tie him to the chair. Yeah. I mean, people need to use like little leashes on some of their kids that don't listen and take off. Yeah. I don't think Barrett likes any of this talk. Do you, buddy? So anyway, we're going to go catch some uh, red salmon snack. And I went bear hunting again this morning. Nothing. Just saw a big old pile of bear poop. Oh, but we saw the black bear on the highway. Yeah, we did see a black bear on the highway on the way here. The second bear I've seen this week. Yeah. She's seen them all, and I go hunting for them and can't see a darn thing. You know, I had a friend friend at school who had three brown bears in her yard in Anchorage, but, you know, I can't get a single one to come out and visit us. So, I mean, only we only want to invite her home for dinner. I mean, geez, it's not very sociable. All right, well, we will conclude this and go fish. So all I'm doing here is I'm flipping this treble hook and dragging it across the stream. You can see right there. And a lot of times you'll just catch salmon and you're just setting the hook as it goes across the bottom. And a lot of times you'll catch salmon right by your feet or three feet away from your feet as it comes in. And you're just fishing these little channels in the inlet. So that's what I'm doing here. It may not look like I'm doing much. I'm literally pulling the string pulling the fishing line with my hand, I'm not even casting, and I'm just flipping it over and snagging it across, just big whooshing motion, big swishing motion, and getting it across. So here I got my first salmon of the year, and you literally run backwards with it. You can have a net right there and try to reel it in, but it's really difficult. It's just easier to run back to the island. I was out there where all those people were, and I just ran back to the island to get the first salmon of the year. So here I am, I'm on a sandbar and I have a channel on either side of me and this is where I caught that first fish. And I've just been doing this for a while until they start hitting hard. When there's a big run, like you can throw the hook in there and get one almost every cast or every few casts, or flips rather because you're not really casting. Now some people do cast across in a safe area and just pull a snag across and I've I've done that before and caught fish, but this is a lot more productive, even though it wears your shoulder out. You gotta learn to do it both right and left-handed. So I'm just 
dragging the hook across both little channels beside me and that's how I caught that first fish. So I'm going to take the time here to plug my music channel, Bost Custom Music Writing. Link is in the description. I need to get it up to a thousand subscribers so I can get the ad revenue on that channel since YouTube can't really demonetize that channel like they have the gun channel here. So please make sure you go over there and subscribe. You're listening to the String Quartet Hip Hop right now. So this is the second salmon I got, nice and pretty, just a hair bigger, and of course the biggest one got away, you know how that works. You'll see a video of that later. You can see that treble hook right there that we were using, uh, and it's just a big weighted treble hook. I think this time I was using a 10 aught. So after fishing in that same spot for a while, we noticed that people were just tearing them up over here. There was a big run. So a lot of us moved over here, including myself. You can see two or three people have fish on right here. And that little boy gets his first fish. And here we go. Right on, right on first cast. It's pretty awesome. You can see the fish gets off the hook here. As I get on the island, I felt pretty get away. athletic to go get it quickly. Probably the most athletic thing I've done in a while. Oh, oh, oh crap. Crap, crap. Thanks. I don't get them on. I don't get them on like this very often.
There's one right by my feet. I only had smaller hooks when I went back to the thing. Uh, six, six ought to be good enough. I caught them on less. Yeah. my rock. in front of us. Here we are, caught my limit of six fish. Of course we have a ton of these pretty vultures, main bald eagles, hanging around looking for fish guts and fish. I'm about 20 yards from this guy. He don't care that we're here, or she. He don't care that we're here. Here I am holding up my catch. You can see that we caught some good ones. The audio wasn't really good with the wind, so I decided to dub over it. Please support us on Patreon. We have been demonetized on YouTube. And check us out on Instagram for links and stuff to products that you would be interested in. Well, that was a pretty successful trip. Probably come back down here tomorrow. I probably won't film it, though. Um, what'd you think, babe? It was busy here. Got some fish. Yeah, there were a lot of people there. That's one thing about Alaska is where the people are, that's where the fish are. You know, you're not going to get that wilderness experience unless you pay for a guide to go way out there. Or you go grayling fishing. I know some places we can go grayling fishing like that. But, you know, um, you know, not as good at eating the salmon for sure. Um, but anyway, a um, lot of people there. I caught six fish and you caught one for our torture limit. So probably could have stayed there I probably could have caught the rest of her limit for her but that's not exactly legal I don't think so uh, we didn't do that especially with the guy patrolling the parking lot uh, state trooper so and little dude got wet and cold 